This is DashboardSymbols.com. Today's video will help you get in and jumpstart an electric vehicle made by Chevrolet. These and all EVs use a 12 volt battery to actually start the car, much like a 12 volt battery is used to start an internal combustion engine vehicle. And if the 12 volt battery dies, the EV can be jump started. Bolt, Equinox, Blazer, and Silverado EVs use a mechanical key housed inside the key fob and a traditional lock cylinder at the back of the driver's door handle. The Bright Drop electric van uses the same mechanical key, but in the back door. We'll first need to access the mechanical key in the fob. To retrieve it, look for a button on the side as shown. Push the button and pull the key ring side of the fob with your free hand, and you have the mechanical key. In the Silverado EV, the keyhole is visible at the back of the driver's door handle, so insert the key and turn, and you're in. But in the same spot in the Bolt, Equinox, and Blazer, look for a slot at the bottom of a cap hiding the keyhole, as shown. Insert the key into this slot as far up as possible and hold some upward pressure. Pry outward to loosen the cap and then pull the door handle out to the open position. You can then wiggle the cap free. And yes, you will feel like you're prying off a piece of your vehicle, but it's okay and necessary. Once the cap is removed and the key cylinder is exposed, insert the key in turn and you're inside. In the bright drop, the keyhole is located behind a cover at the rear door on the right side, as we see here. Swing the cover to the right, insert the mechanical key, and then rotate it clockwise to unlock the door. Hold the key in this position while opening the door. Once the door is open completely, the key must be rotated counterclockwise fully before removing it. Then reinstall the cover with the notch in the original position. Access to the interior is necessary for two reasons. The first is obvious because starting the vehicle is accomplished from the inside. However, in Blazer and Silverado models, opening the hood where the 12 volt battery is located is accomplished from inside the vehicle. Hood releases on the bolt are outside under the front of the hood. Slide the lever to the side and raise the hood. In the blazer, pull the hood release lever at the lower left side of the instrument panel. The hood release in the Silverado is also on the lower left side of the instrument panel, but is a cable. Pull it firmly twice to open the hood. The Silverado needs one more step. Turn the three bolts on this access cover three-quarter turn counterclockwise to remove the cover. In the bright drop, remove the mat and cover in front of the driver's seat on the floor. The battery is beneath these items. Now we'll cover negative connection points. The positive connection is always made on the positive battery terminal, which will be under a cover that will need to be removed. The jump start negative grounding point in bolt models is a stud on a bracket located near the accessory power module. On the blazer, it is a frame bolt near the vehicle firewall. In the Silverado, it is a frame bolt near the front of the vehicle. In the bright drop, it is a bolt at the front of the driver's step. The rest proceeds as jump starts have proceeded for decades, but we'll cover it for completeness. First, connect the positive cable to the discharged battery positive terminal. Second, connect the other end of the same cable to the positive terminal on the jump battery. Then connect the negative cable to the negative terminal of the jump battery. And finally, the other end of that cable is connected to the vehicle grounding point. The car may need a little time to charge before starting, and we do not recommend revving up gas or diesel engines of the jump vehicle if one is being used. Exercise patience. Once started, the first thing to do is find a service center to have the start battery tested, charged, or replaced. 
for other helpful videos generally covering push button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers. Look for more videos from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.